Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics pre lecture. Today's topic is binomial distribution. Actually, we have started this topic in previous lecture. Now we have discussed the formula of binomial distribution and solved some examples, few examples of binomial distribution. Now here in this lecture also we are going to discuss few examples on binomial distribution. So see the example. On an average, a box containing ten articles is likely to have two defectives. If we consider a consignment of hundred boxes, how many of them are expected to have three or less defectives? See what is the example. Yes. On an average, a box containing ten articles is likely to have two defectives. If we consider a consignment of hundred boxes, how many of them are expected to have three or less defectives? Here, a box containing ten articles is likely to have two defectives. So, the probability of a box containing defective articles is two by ten because a box contains Ten articles means n is equal to ten. And so, what is the standard probability of a box containing the fifty articles? It is two by ten because in a box uh, there may be two fifty articles. So, the probability of a box containing the fifty articles is equal to two by ten. Two by ten means if you simplify it, it is one by five. Q is the probability. Now, P is the probability of success. Our success is a box. Uh, success is here. Probability of success is one by five. The so success is in a box of ten articles. There may be two defective articles. Now probability of non-defective atoms means probability of failure is here one minus p. One minus p. One minus one by five. One minus one by five is four by five. So this is the probability of uh, probability of failure. Now probability we are interested. If we consider a consignment of hundred boxes, how many of them are expected to have have three or less defectives? Means we have to find out in a consignment of hundred boxes how many of them are expected to have three or less defectives. To find the number of defective articles, three or less defective articles in a box. In a consignment of hundred boxes, first we are going to find the probability. Probability of a box containing three or less defective articles. Here, probability of a box containing three or less defective articles is equal to p of r less than or equal to three. Three or less defective. So the condition is there. The value of r is less than or equal to three. Okay, it is equal to. Now, how to find the probability when there are three or less defective articles in a box? It is equal to you start from zero. Means when r is equal to zero, there may be zero defective article. Here the condition is three or less. Means you start from zero. R is equal to zero. R is equal to one. R is equal to two. R is equal to three. And then you add all the probabilities because these are the independent events. Means exclusive events. So you Add all the terms. Probability of probability of r is equal to zero. Probability of r is equal to one. R is equal to two. R is equal to three. Three or less, so up to three. Now p of r is equal to zero. Here we are going to use binomial distribution because the value of n is small. N is equal to ten. There are only two outcomes: defective or non-defective article. Now, when r is equal to zero, what is the probability by using binomial distribution? The formula is n c r p raised to r into q raised to n minus r. n c r n is here, n is equal to ten. So ten c zero because r is zero. n c r is equal to ten c zero. p is one by five and r is zero. So one by five raised to zero. q raised to n minus r. The value of q is here four by five. And the power is n minus r. N is ten and r is zero, so ten minus zero is ten. So this is the probability of when r is equal to zero. The next term is p of r is equal to one. 
means when the success is one means there may be one defective article in a box so what is the probability of that defective article in a box it is uh, using binomial distribution test 10c1 because the formula is ncr n is 10 r is 1 so 10c1 p is 2 r p is 1 by 5 raised to r into q raised to n minus r q is 4 by 5 the power n minus r n is here 10 and r is 1 So ten minus one is nine. So it is ten c one into one by five is one into four by five is to nine. Plus probability of r is equal to two. P of r is equal to two. This n c r n is ten. Ten c two into p is to two into q is to eight because the value of r is two and the formula of binomial distribution is n c r p is to r q is to n minus r. And C R N is ten, C R is two, so ten C two, P is two R, P is one by five, raised to R, R is two, so one by five raised to two, Q raised to n minus R, Q is four by five raised to n minus R, N is ten, R is two, so ten minus two eight, so this is the term for probability of R is equal to two. Then probability of R is equal to three. It is ten C three N C R N is ten R is three N C R ten C three P is to three P is to R P is here one by five R is here three so Q is to N minus R Q is here four by five so N minus R N is ten R is three so ten minus three seven. So this is the term probability of R is equal to three. Now adding all the terms, you calculate one by one every term and then do the addition of all the terms. Probability of every term is here calculated. This is the step where probability of every term is calculated and then you just do the addition of all the values. And so probability of R less than or equal to three is zero point eight seven nine one. So this is the probability of a box containing three or less defective articles. Now next is in a consignment of hundred boxes, number of boxes having three or less defective articles is equal to. We want in a box of hundred box in a consignment of hundred boxes, how many boxes having three or less defective articles? Now we have the probability of a box containing three or less defective articles. It is zero point eight seven nine one. You multiply uh, that probability by hundred. And then the answer is eighty-seven point ninety-one, and eighty-seven eighty-seven point ninety-one means approximately eighty-eight boxes are there out of hundred having three or less defective articles. So this is the example of defective article here. Now the next topic is mean and variance of binomial distribution. Mean and variance of binomial distribution. See what is the formula of mean of binomial distribution? It is given by mean is equal to n into p. N is number of trials and p is probability of success. So the formula is n into p. Now variance of binomial distribution it is given by variance notation is sigma square because uh, for standard deviation we use the notation sigma and for variance it is sigma square. It is equal to n into p into q. You know what is n? What is p? What is Q? N is number of trials. P is probability of success, and Q is probability of failure. Okay. So here, now the example: the mean and variance of a binomial distribution are six and two respectively. Find probability R greater than or equal to one. Here, R means the number of successes in n number of trials. You know, a mean is given. Mean and variance. Mean is six, and the formula for mean is n into p. Its value is six. Variance is also given. Its value is two. Variance is equal to sigma square is equal to n into p into q is equal to two. Okay. Now you consider the ratio. n into p into q upon 
n into p n into p into q upon n into p variance upon b because our aim is to find the probability of r greater than or equal to 1 here r greater than or equal to 1 but we don't know the value of n to, cal to calculate the value of n you assume here the ratio variance upon m npq upon np q is equal to so npq means variance its value is 2 And NP means mean its value is six, so the ratio is two by six. You simplify it. P P get cancelled, N get cancelled, so the value of Q is one by three. Okay, this is the probability of failure. So from Q you can find P probability of success. Now in binomial distribution, P plus Q is equal to one. So we have the value of Q one by three. So you can easily find the value of P. It is one minus three. And so it is equal to one minus one by three, and so if we simplify it, it is two two by three. So the probability of success is two by three. Probability of failure is one by three. Okay. So now, now how to find the value of n? Now you know the formula of mean. Mean is n into p is equal to six. Now we have the value of p. Probability it is two by three. To put here the value of p, two by three, n as it is, is it is equal to six because the mean value of uh, mean value is given here, it is equal to six. So p is also calculated here, two by three. Put here p is equal to two by three, and so n is equal to you shift this two by three in RHS and simplify it, then you will get the value of n. And here the value of n is nine. Okay, so the value of number of trials here, value of p, probability of success. Probability of failure is also there. We have to use probability of failure. Now we want probability of R greater than or equal to one. Probability of R greater than or equal to one means you start from one up to which uh, number? Up to number of trials. Now here number of trials is, are here nine. Nine means you start from one and is you stop at nine. Means your answer is here. Probability of R greater than or equal to one is equal to probability of R is equal to one plus probability of R is equal to two plus probability of R is equal to three and so on up to probability of R is equal to nine. Like the previous case, uh, here R is greater than or equal to one. We will start from one and how many terms we have to calculate up to n. Here n is nine. We will start from one and calculate the terms up to R is equal to nine. Means we have to uh, calculate the probability of nine terms. So best way here, probability of R greater than or equal to one is nothing but one minus probability of failure. Now what is the failure of this probability of R greater than or equal to one? Only R is equal to zero. This term is the failure. When R is equal to zero, that is our failure. So if we subtract the probability of R is equal to zero from one. One minus probability of failure is equal to probability of success because our success is probability of R greater than or equal to one. So to calculate this probability, you use the formula one minus probability of failure. And what is the probab probability of failure for R greater than or equal to one? The failure is R is equal to zero. When uh, the value of R is zero, that is the failure only because We want the probability r greater than or equal to one. Means we start from one, one to nine. So except, uh, sorry, except zero. We, start, we find the probability of all the terms start from r is equal to one to nine. So the missing term is only r is equal to zero. So it means that it is the failure. And so to calculate the probability of success, means probability of r greater than or equal to one, you just subtract that probability of failure. Means Probability of R is equal to zero from one. You will get your answer. So one minus what? How to find probability of R is equal to zero? Binomial distribution. N C R P raised to R Q raised to N minus R. Now N is here nine. So your combination term is nine C zero because R is zero. N C R means nine C zero. P raised to R. What is P here? P is here two by three. Two by three raised to R. What is R? R is here zero because the success is zero. Q raised to n minus R. Q is here. The value of Q is one by three. Let's go n minus R. N is nine. N R is zero. So nine minus zero nine. So you calculate the value of this term nine C zero to 
2 by 3 raised to 0 means 1, 1 by 3 raised to 9. 9 3 0 its value is also 1. So the simplified term is there. 1 minus 1 by 3 raised to 9. And then you calculate the value of this probability of r greater than or equal to 1. It is 0 0.4 times 9. So this is your answer. This is the probability r greater than or equal to 1. 0 0.4 times 9. So these are the examples on binomial distribution we have discussed today. And here the topic binomial distribution is over. Thank you.